If you haven't subscribed yet, you're tripping. Period. Okay? You know that I'm entertaining. You better subscribe to my channel. Yeah, yeah. She wants to lean. She wants to Gucci. I ride with some harness on me. I got a Gucci. Pull up in a Jeep. I put it on for a Jeep. How would your body give me some top on the front seat? We go. Oh, I would do we go to the back seat. When you give me your left hand, baby, bust on the back seat. Track me. 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 Every hair color queen, Yana Kai, and today I'm back with another video. Hey everybody, how are you? I'm just getting over the flu, so if I cough at all in this video, please excuse me. You know that cough takes forever to go away. So today, I just had to spare the moment, wanted to do this video, and from the title you can tell, it's how to get over your ex, okay? How to move on to the next, well not next as in person, just next in general. But before I get into this video, I see you there, you right there. You new to the channel, come on, subscribe, join the family. I'll wait. Okay, thank you, thank you for joining. Welcome, now we can continue. And for those who have been here, appreciate y'all. Thank you for always watching and supporting me. So I'm just go through a little bit of different steps on how to move on and how to get over your ex, how to get over a breakup, how to get over um, your last relationship. I know it's not easy. It's not easy for me. It's not. It's just not easy in general in life. You know, I'm not talking personal right now. I'm just saying in general, I see a lot of how to get over um, your ex or all that stuff. And I thought, you know, let me get out some tips that maybe I know that maybe can help. First things first, you got to block up. And if you can't block them because of some type of reason, you have to limit your contact. Do no contact if you can. You don't need to interact with them at all. You don't need to see what they're doing, especially on social media. Block them. And if you see they liking somebody pictures on social media, block the person or unadd the person. You don't need to see nothing because once you see something they're doing, all it's going to lead to is you stalking them. <laughs> you go into that person's face like, who is this girl or who is this dude that they like in their pictures? And you just going to go find a whole bunch of stuff that you shouldn't eat that's gonna mess up your growth block them anyone associated with them anybody sending you pictures of what they're doing that's still friends with them on social media you're gonna have to unadd that person or just let them know what you're trying to do just let them know that you would not like to see that and if they respect it move forward but if they continue to do it you're gonna have to want to get rid of them too we don't want to stalk okay so that comes to self-control you know, control your urge to stalk. You know, everybody want to go look at, oh, how they doing now, what they doing now, who they like. You know, no, don't do that. We got to grow. We got to move forward past that. And we got to, we got to elevate. We can't be doing that because that stuff only hurts you, okay? It's really hard to not stalk someone's page, okay? But you really got to train your mind and your brain not to do so. Glow up on them, you know what I'm saying? So don't glow up on them glow up on who you were when you were with them if you didn't like who you were um just glow up on that person that you became if you lost yourself during their relationship try to you know channel who you were prior and just elevate yourself from there because you don't want to ever go back you know what i'm saying you always want to move forward so if you liked who you were prior to the relationship and aspects you know traits that you had try to tone into that you know trigger into that and then elevate and grow and just start working on you start figuring out you know what did you want to do because i know people in relationships get so caught up in the relationship they forget about themselves and forget about their own passions and their dreams they turn into the other person you know so just try to figure out what you want to do who are you as a person we just elevate and we growing and glowing that's all we doing okay gas yourself up remember you're a boss for example, I'd be like, listen, I got a bachelor's degree in fashion, merchandise, and minor in business. I got a Series 7 license, Series 63 license. If y'all don't know, that means I can trade stock, work for a brokerage firm. I am that girl. Do I am that dude. Gas yourself up, okay? Don't forget who you were, okay? Remember, you was that person before them, and you still going to be that boss person after. There was something that attracted them to you, okay? Don't forget that. Hopefully, you're not the toxic one. Don't be the toxic one. If you are, figure out your toxic traits and fix them so you can be the best person you can be either for them in the future or for the next person because we want to just be healthy. Take time for yourself. That's very important. 
Um, I know some people say rebound to help them get over it, but I personally think that you shouldn't, you know, energies, I believe in energies and you don't want to put all those energies into you and, and take all these energies on. I'm like an empath, so I don't want that, but I think you should take time for yourself. Like, don't move on to the next person so fast because when you do that, you can bring a lot of, you know, the bad vibes or whatever came from your past relationship problems to the next person you know you don't want to do that you just want to come in fresh and new and healthy it's important to take time for yourself and figure out you know what are you trying to do what's your goals in life put yourself around other good vibes and good people that will always help you it's not good to be by yourself in a room sad and just thinking about the person all the time and all the memories going through the pictures like you need to surround yourself with good people good vibes go out reconnect with people make friends just have fun you know do fun things that get your mind off of it and like i just stated going through the pictures you might need to delete those pictures bye bye pictures they gotta go any type of memory like that like you're gonna be holding on to it and it's just not gonna help with you trying to get over this person it's gonna just continue to make you sad about the situation like you don't want to be sad you don't want to be depressed you just gotta you just gotta move forward don't be so quick to try to go back and figure it out because a lot of people don't like to move on it's uncomfortable if you've been in a relationship for a long period of time it's very uncomfortable to try to you know meet somebody new because you don't want to waste any more time and you're unsure and there may be a reason why you guys didn't work out it may be a reason that you don't see right now but the reason may be for you to work out with somebody else or for something else in your life to work out and not always break up is the end you know sometimes later in life after you guys get time away from each other you might come back even happier and healthier but it's important to take that time and it's important to have time to deal with the issues this stuff sounds so easy to do but come on now let's be realistic we're people we have emotions it's not very easy to do but it's necessary you know it's necessary if you're really trying to get over that person like if you really don't want to go back like you're done you're gonna have to find healthy ways to cope with that you know and, and it's not gonna happen overnight but it can happen okay time heals all i'm gonna do a little quick rant about that i thought it was a good topic or whatever and i still got it at your mama house hopefully i record it tomorrow and post it on wednesday but you know so yeah if you like this video give me a thumbs up y'all comment down below um any healthy ways to get over your ex anything you know um let's give each other advice and you know be positive in the comments and let's just talk about it or whatever so hey if you haven't subscribed yet you're tripping period okay you know that i'm entertaining you better subscribe to my channel but make sure y'all subscribe hope you have a blessed day blessed night blessed weekend whenever you're watching this Stay blessed, your girl is out.